Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there, and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location, a nice spot, that is for sure. Why is it so nice? Well, I mean, it's not the most beautiful of days, although we do have some really nice mountains to go here and explore. These people are over here, like I said yesterday, risking their lives, boulders almost gonna fall on them you know what I would be I would be pretty scared my I wouldn't be scared at all I would be loving it I'd be go right up to the base of the mountain that would I want to climb on top of one of these boulders too it's actually looks like a great place to be but you know I had to say something about it maybe this cave up here if that is a cave that'd be cool to explore lots of fun stuff to do here all right so the question is where are we and you know what I I, I don't really know where exactly we could be I think I'm gonna go I don't know what I'm gonna go with I uh, let's go with let's go with like South America. Let's go with something that we don't often see. Are there big mountains? There are probably big mountains around here. Should we go with Colombia? Sure, that sounds like fun to me. And the answer was no, no, not at all. Uh, it was actually uh, Sardinia, Italy. Uh, well, you know what? What are you gonna do? Hopefully, some of you guys figured that one out. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge location. A very nice spot indeed. Look at this. It's like a bunch of swings. There's this weird, like, life preserver hanging from a tree. Seems like a bit of a... Oh, no, maybe it's hanging from this weird contraption here. It seemed like a weird spot for it, but we do have some kind of a big old lake. Look at this. You got a dock floating in the middle of the water. That's great. Uh, I guess the water doesn't get uh, too deep quick enough, so people run out into the water. They'll climb off of there and jump off. Oh, isn't that fun? I guess so. Also, look at this. God, this slide looks like it's just going to fall right off of there. Uh, a grown man definitely cannot slide down a slide like that, but then again, why the hell would a grown man want to do such a thing? Anyways, this is today's daily challenge, meaning it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are. And in tomorrow's video's comment section, I announce the winner, the person the guess is closest. Now, there are no prizes, but there is glory to be won, so if you are interested in becoming the day's top geo-guesser, then tell me where in the world do you think we are right now. All right, here we are in the main section of today's video, and today we have got a viewer challenge. A viewer challenge brought to us by none other than our good friend James Lowe. That is right, James Lowe. Thank you so much for this challenge. This one is all about... Okay, I was trying to make a wind sound, but it really just whistled. So that really... It's all about wind. Windy cities. That is right. Um, it is all about the top five windiest cities on Earth. That is right. Another top five type challenge. This one about windy cities. I think we've done one about cold cities. That was quite a surprising one. Uh, and then we've probably done a bunch of others. But this one is windy cities. I'm guessing the last one that we see is the windiest. Usually that's the order we go in. So thank you so much, James Lowe. For this challenge, if you are interested in creating your own custom challenge, all you need to do is look down in your uh, look down in the description below. Find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me. Also, you can find a link to this one so you can play along yourself. So thank you so much, James Lowe, for this one. Let's get right to it. Boom! Challenge accepted. All right, so this is a very windy city we've got here. I'm guessing it's probably in a flat area. 620, all right, blaze it. Uh, we are Farmers Insurance, okay. La Raza Community Services Income Tax. We're going to be in... I don't know, do tornadoes count in average wind speed? Because if they do, I mean, I was, and I was going to guess Oklahoma, then I came up with the tornado thing. Uh, so we're going to go with Oklahoma on this one. Uh, just because, I don't know, it sounds right to me. Fidelity State Bank, good, we're in America, 53 degrees Celsius. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, 53 degrees Fahrenheit, sorry, I, I don't know why I said Celsius. Uh, maybe we'll move a little bit more north to uh, North Dakota, South Dakota, something like that. Dodge City. Is that the name of a bar? Or is that a city? Because I feel like I remember hearing about this, perhaps Dodge City. Is that a real place? Dodge City. And then we've got this thing right over here. Is this a Texas Longhorn? I don't know. Where? Where's Door? Uh, door? <laughs> Dodge. I feel like I, I forget what state it's in. It's in Dodge City. It's in... 
Get the fuck out of Dodge. Is this Dodge? Is this that Dodge City? It could be. Jeep Dodge Chrysler, and uh, Jeep Dodge Chrysler. I think that's it. I thought there was something else. Uh, I I really don't know where we are. I'm feeling like we might be in Texas, but then I feel like, all right, we are in Dodge, Nebraska. No. I, I don't think so. I, I you know I really don't know where we are. Pride Ag of what? No resources. All right, Pride Ag resources. We got a McDonald's, a Taco Bell, a Sanic. Uh, we've got a Burger King, an Arby's. Oh my God, this is the whole street. There you go. There are no Sonic or Arby's in. Um, in, in Canada, although I do believe I've been to a Sonic once, and I don't remember what I had, but I remember, I believe I had some kind of uh, flashy red lemonade type beverage. Uh, so there you go, Long John Silvers, Daylight Donut. Do we have any, we don't have any sort of idea where we are, right? Someone does, but I don't. Quick draw oil change. We got the kernel over here. Oh man, I really, I really don't know where we're gonna be. Dodge, quick shop. Do we have any idea where that's gonna be? I really don't. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Jeez, oh, all sorts of stuff that I have no idea where. When it looks like we're getting close to a highway. Because look at this road, right? This looks like we're getting close. This looks like the highway is going to be right near there. There's too many, like, quality ins. Unless this is the highway. All right, well, this claims to be... No, no, no. It doesn't. That's not... No, that's just a gas station. It's nothing else. Dodge Hotel Restaurant Saloon Western Dodge House. All right, we're going New Mexico? Or are we going Oklahoma? We're going Oklahoma on this one. And the answer, Dodge City, it's in Kansas. Kansas is the answer. Well, I forgot, but uh, there you go. Dodge City, apparently in Kansas. Would I have known of that? Maybe. Maybe. Liberal Kansas. We think that's a particularly liberal city. You know, they vote Democrat here. They might. Maybe not, though. Uh, probably not, if I had to guess. But hell, you, know, you never know. You never know. You never know. Uh, 2637. All right, what do we got here? We got another windy city. Uh, we are in Chile, which is... Are we? I believe... Or are we in Texas? I forget. We're going to find out. We are in... Uh, you know, we're in... That's... Oh, fuck me. I think we're in Chile, right? That That's the Chilean flag. We're not going to be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So we're, we're not going to be... That's, what does the Texas flag look like again? Oh, I forget. It's kind of like that, isn't it? I believe it is. But uh, that's not where we are. Oh, look at that. Uh, you can get, uh, you know, you can get your Monsanto corn over here with your uh, eyeglasses. Isn't that great? So, what else do we have around here? I mean, it's pretty nice, this place. I'm liking it. I, I like the street. The idea is to get a nice fancy sidewalk. And then look at this curb here. Oh, it's nice. Uh, this is a fancy street. I'm guessing not all streets are like this, though. Probably just this one. Although, you know, look at this. It's even got these things. What are these called? Like, bollards or some stuff? Something like that? What are these little nubs called? I don't remember. But uh, but it is nice. Okay, back to a, a more normal street. Not as exciting. All right. We're windy. All right, we're windy and we're in Chile. Uh, uh, too many mountains there. Antofagasta. Are we, well, where's, no. What about one of these, what about this one over here? There's a lot of mountains nearby that one, though, so that's just getting me thinking. What about this one? Kalama. Yeah, that's, I think, where we are. No, we were really far down. I would not have guessed. Oh, okay, Punta Arenas. Well, there you go. We're indeed in the right country, but my God, far away. 1731. Oh, we're in Canada. Probably. I don't know. Is Second Cup a Canadian company? Oh, it's got to be. There's too many things I recognize here. This looks like the Canadian Maritimes. 
But I don't know. This looks like Lunenburg or something like that, but not that nice. I don't know. Uh, maybe we're going to be in like Bridgewater or something like that. Who, who knows? Oh, St. John's. Oh, okay. Oh, that explains it. Why it's, uh, why it's like parts of Nova Scotia, but less nice. Uh, we, oh, oops. Uh, actually, St. John's is relatively nice. I was thinking of St. John for a second. My bad. I always confuse them. And no offense if you're from St. John. I'm sure St. John is nice. But, uh, I mean, it is. It is. There's that, like, backwards waterfall. Come on, you guys have got stuff. Uh, honestly, I can't shit on St. John's, though. That place is real nice. I like it a lot. I mean, the whole province is great. Newfoundland, a place where not too many Canadians visit, but it is really worth a visit. Uh, Newfoundland, even more. Uh, but uh, even, I mean, sorry, Labrador, even more. But uh, Newfoundland, geez louise, really worth... Uh, it's, it's the kind of place where, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a drive, but honestly, it's it's the kind of trip where, don't go on a trip to St. John's. I mean, really, I don't know. I wouldn't do it. But if I was going on a trip where I would rent a car, oh, absolutely. This is a rent-a-car trip. You know, don't book a hotel in St. John's. What kind of fun are you going to have? This is a pretty small city. Sure, maybe the nightlife is fun, this and that, this and that. But no, no, no. If you're going to do it right, you're going to rent a car and you're going to go explore the whole damn island. There's a lot of fun to see and you're going to meet a lot of great people. I would recommend that as well. Uh, but no, I, I for a second saw this was St. John and then I would shit on it a little bit saying that, oh, okay, that's why it's not as nice as a city in Nova Scotia. But again, eh, you know, St. John is pretty nice if, if I'm being honest. Hell, a lot of ways, it's a lot nicer than the place where I live now, although I, yeah, Ottawa's actually quite nice. Um, but, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, Lunenburg really is a really nice city. But again, this whole area right over here is just off the damn chain. I will say... St. John is probably a nicer city than Halifax. I'll give you that much. That's for sure. All right. What do we got going on here? Well, we know where we are. Do I recognize any of this? No, of course. I, I keep forgetting. We're in St. John's, not St. John. I haven't been here in real life. So I don't recognize any of this. But let's get to the point where I would recognize it from GeoGuessr. And that would be down over here near this building. All right now, all over near the waterfront. We're going to go. Or is it this building? Yeah, I think it's the Scotiabank. All right, we're going to go to the Scotiabank, and this is, uh, this is not really helping, is it? No, it's a TD. I thought it was a TD. Yeah, 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 okay, now we're starting to recognize stuff a little bit more. There you go, now we're getting to the, the real meat and potatoes of the business here. Uh, really, St. John is, is a windy city. Interesting. This little point over here behind this uh, strange statue, uh, we have seen that quite a few times uh, before. It's uh, right over here. We've been there for sure before. Uh, but uh, over here, it's always nice. I think we've actually been here before, but I didn't recognize it at first. Um, we've been, like, up here somewhere. Definitely not anywhere near where we started. So there you go. St. John's. Oh, what a nice city. We were, like, around uh, here. The answer was, ah, pretty close, 6432. All right, what do we got now? What do we... Costa Rio. Costa Rio. Eduardo Costa, 2013. Oh, casino. All right. We're going gambling. We're going gambling, playing ourselves a uh, little bit of... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I have, like, a table game that I consider mine. I, uh... Yeah, I, there's, there's no real casino game that I particularly like. I don't want to spend money at a casino for a lot of reasons. Look at that. It's like hands spray painted in red he's got like the blood on his hands i don't know what the idea here is but uh, i think someone's making uh some kind of political statement with the statue here believe that i think definitely there could be a lot of fun to be had if you're gonna play poker for money with friends that's pretty fun uh if your friends give a shit about winning or know about poker because if they don't then that's just a, i mean that's just a shit show isn't it everyone's just going all in on every hand nothing matters also playing poker for no money is really annoying because then there's no stakes at all and everyone just does what i mean it, it's it's no fun uh but i think i don't just don't think i have the patience for poker to be honest with you it takes too much patience blackjack now that's a fun game blackjack it yourself at uh, i think if i was uh, gonna casino it Oh, but I don't want to spend my own money on blackjack. That's a silly idea. I, I could never do it. I get impatient, start making reckless bets, and it really just wouldn't work out for me. 
So, no, I don't have... For whatever reason, I'm thinking... Oh, okay, no. I was thinking we were in South Africa, but I don't think we are anymore. I don't know where we are, actually. I... Yeah, I, I do not know... Oh! Are we in... What? Are we in... The flag, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, made me think we were, like, in Botswana. But I don't think that's where we are. All right, let's try this again. We're somewhere. I don't know where we are. Lincoln, Lincoln, log on. Doesn't really help me. Something criminal. Santa Cruz. Province. It's a place that has a province. Well, Brazil has states, I believe. Yes. Mexico? Does Mexico have provinces? Why would Mexico have provinces? I don't believe it does. I believe Mexico also has states. Well, we got some questions here. No real answers. Uh, could it be windy in Argentina? It could be. The flags seem to be the right color. Yeah, Argentina. Okay, I don't know why it took me so long to figure that one out. Uh, so where are we? We are in... I... I really... Rio Grande? No. I don't know where we're going to be. I really don't know where we're going to be. How are the mountains here? I have no idea. But yeah, like I was saying, I think Blackjack would be it. I don't know. Maybe I, I'd like to try Baccarat or something like that. Or Craps. Who the hell plays craps? I don't even know how you play craps. Too complicated for me. So that would be fun, right? I'd like I'd like to spend my money at least learning something weird, right? Let's go play something weird. Like blackjack is too simple. It's pretty easy to know how to do blackjack, even with all the sort of doubling and splits and all that stuff like that. It's it, it you know blackjack is easy, but you go for something like baccarat. Who the hell knows how to do that? Also, I don't even know what like. Uh, that's that's too complicated for me. It's not. It's, I think it's rather simple. But there's all sorts of like hitting rules and stuff like that where you get an extra card on some hands but you don't on others. I forget how that even goes, uh, which is too much. And craps? People like craps? That's a weird one. I mean, it's too much stuff like the pass line and all that stuff. Uh, I'm going to say we're right over there. Although that made me think, oh, we were there. Oh, 60, 99, great. And then finally... Oh, where are we? Number five out of five. Uh, I don't know. We're in Europe somewhere. Craps, I think, would be cool. I just don't have the balls for roulette either. Like, that feels like there. That's, that's a real way to ANZ. A-N-Z. Well, I mean, that's going to uh, pretty much be an answer for us. So it's particularly windy in... Which one is this? Uh, this one is Auckland? Yeah, maybe Wellington, but I, I don't know. Auckland, well, yeah. Well, yeah, Wellington, I bet she's pretty windy. It's hard for me, no, it's hard for me to tell which one this is going to be, if I'm being honest with you. Double your muscles with some sort of cafe type thing. This is New Zealand. Yes, it is. Great. Simply squeezed orange, orange juice. Simply squeezed at co.nz. There you go. So, what else do we have here? We've got Coca-Cola, available in a ton of flavors. This grape Coca-Cola? How would that taste? Probably awful. Yeah, that would be awful. Color your summer. Maybe it's just regular Coca-Cola in different cans. So, do we know what city this is going to be? Should I make a guess? That's the real question. Wellington? Okay. It is Wellington. Well, hey, at least I was zoomed into it when I read it, right? Uh, so I, I count that as making the correct guess. No, I'm just kidding. I probably would have guessed Auckland, if I'm being honest with you. Actually, no, I would have gotten to the I, I would have gone to the water, and then I would have been able to tell you it was in Auckland, uh, because the bridge wouldn't be there, and well, I mean that would be the entirety of it. The bridge isn't there, then you know you know it's not Auckland. Look at this, coolest little cruise capital. Is it really the coolest little cruise capital? Actually, there's a lot to cruise down. You can go all the way around here and stuff like that. Go all the way around and back. That could be fun. Go all around the southern island. 
Is there a name for this island? For like this whole, it's just South Island? Is that what it's called? Is this North Island? Okay, so there's no big name for them. Always thought there would be. Is New Zealand divided into different regions? It must be. Maybe not. I mean, other than North Island, South Island, is there like divisions? If there is, are they important? They're probably not important. I mean, it's... There's not going to be... Other than like city laws, is there something like an equivalent of state or provincial laws? Or is it just, you know, like the whole country just falls under, you know, national laws and then individual cities can make bylaws, stuff like that, or, or whatever. Uh, but there's no, like, state or province to um, call to. It's not like, uh, like on South Island, the drinking age is, uh, you know, 17, whereas on North Island, it's 16 or something like that. I'm just assuming that the drinking age is lower in New Zealand than it is in in Canada, but it, it very well might not be. Yeah, it could be. It could be 21. Hell, there you go. Oh, we know where we are, don't we? We do. There you go. 63, 69. Oh, the perfect score. So did pretty good on that one. That's for sure. Started off in not Oklahoma, but Dodge City in Kansas. We got quickly the hell out of there and went off to uh, Punta Arenas in Chile. Not all the way north here. Then we went to the one, the only, St. John's. Definitely not to be confused with St. John. Dun, dun, dun. I'm just kidding. St. John is fine. Is it? But well, I've actually been there, and I actually quite enjoyed my time there. Um, so there you go. Uh, but I, I like pretending that I hate St. John. I don't know why. Maybe it's just, you know, it wasn't like the best. Maybe it was just because St. John was like a stopover. It's like my hatred for Edmonston. Right? I really dislike Edmonston. Why? Because it was always it was always the stop that we would do and stay there overnight in between uh, going from where I live to the destination, which would actually usually be up here in uh, Cape Breton. So that would be the destination. We would stop over here in Edmonston. Well, recently we did a challenge. Not recently. A little while ago made a challenge. My God, Edmonston actually looked like a pretty nice city. It looked pretty nice. St. John, same thing happened. Once we decided to take uh, the old road down here or something like that, go through Maine, and then St. John became the old stopping point. Well, that's the that's I think that's the one time I've been there. I might have been there twice. Maybe took a detour or something like that. But I think I think St. John just fell in the same kind of. It's not the destination. It was just a shitty like hotel off the side of the highway. I didn't really get to experience it. But to that, I'm going to say that, well, maybe I was pretty young. Because to that, I was going to say that ha I've, I, that has happened as well in Fredericton. And I have nothing against Fredericton. Even though I probably only spent my time at um, this Best Western right here. Yeah, this Best Western right here. That's the one I stopped at. Spent some time there. And in this shopping mall right over here, saw the Planet of the Apes movie there. At uh, Cineplex Cinemas Fredericton. Really? Cineplex Cinemas? Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, that, that's what it would be. Um, Cineplex Cinemas uh, Fredericton. Spent some... Saw Planet of the Apes there. And I had a good time. I left uh, feeling Fredericton nice city, even though I saw none of it. It's not like I saw any of this part. Like, the real part of Fredericton. Maybe I was just a bit older when that happened. Right? Because I got, like, the same opinion about... Um, I got the same opinion about Summerside, PEI. It's like it wasn't, you know, I went there on a trip, but it wasn't the destination. The destination was this area over here, which I like a lot. So, you know what? There you go. That's the idea. You always hate the cities you stop in. Or maybe you don't. I don't know. Tell me about it. Are there cities that you hate? And there's probably no reason for it. You just, not really hate, but just don't like. You don't think, oh, yeah, that city. I don't want to go there. But what is there to do there? Because... The only memory you have of it is of you stopping off the side of the highway, staying at a goddamn Best Western Plus. Let me tell you, actually, one of the things that maybe tainted my opinion positively to the Best Western in Fredericton um, was that when I went to it, I'm fairly certain it had opened, like, just a couple months before. Because let me tell you, they had really nice beds. Oh, their beds were comfortable. Their pillows were soft. The sheets were nice. It was a great Best Western, let me tell you. 
Uh, then we went to whatever the D location is. Ah, uh, yes, this was this area over here in Argentina. And finally, we went to Wellington in New Zealand. Very, very cool. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this tour of Windy Cities. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh yeah. Have a good one.